Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog for the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about RPGs. I, I, I'm relatively excited because, I well, originally Rogers had scheduled me for Arnold Cassell, uh, but instead we've got Abner. Hello, Abner. Hey there, Dr. Tom. Pleasure to be on the show. Wow. Okay. We. This is interesting and a little... Okay, I guess you're on because... You, uh, you, you know, Arnold was involved with Puppet View Scream, which seems kind of ridiculous to me. I mean, role-playing games with puppets, so that's a little twee. Tell me about it, Abner. What's the deal? Yeah, well, you got to play um, online, you see, and you, you use these screens to communicate with each other. And, um, well, mostly you're uh, in a survival scenario, and there's, there's four people that uh, desperately need each other's help. And uh, they communicate through these screens and talk about their problems, and... Maybe some of them will survive. Hmm. Now, I know it's a little far-fetched, but do you think someone like me could maybe make a puppet and join in? Are you kidding me? You were on the first one. You knew that. Ha. Huh. Well, I mean, that was that was with other puppets. I mean, I'm not a... Huh. But you were a fine doctor. Ah. Huh. Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, I am a doctor. I got it in the mail. Hey, so I, I want to ask you a question, um, since you've probably got a line in to, to Arnold there. He is working on um, a hack of Kagematsu, and I thought about making a joke about historic historic Japan, but all of my attempts were futile. Oh, that's a good one, Dr. Tom. A real professional. Yeah, well, that's exactly why Arnold made that game, you see. He really likes Kagematsu. It's a fun game about people in a desperate situation that, that need help. And, um... Well, one person gets to be that that help, and uh, everybody else has to try and convince them that they need to stay. And there's a lot of power to the game, but it is set in feudal Japan, as you said. And some people, well, some people don't cotton to that kind of thing. So he modeled it after some French-Canadian film and, uh, you know, made the threat instead just the brutal and utter economic collapse on this small fishing village. But it's pretty good, you know, because... It uh, removes that cultural difference, uh, distance there, and um, brings you right up to modern times. It's uh, pretty good. He even got to run it at uh, Dreamation this year with uh, five excellent players and one wonderful game master, and everybody had a good time being bitterly sad. Huh. Well, so, so you went from feudal Japan to make it more accessible. You, you, you modeled it after a French-Canadian movie. That's, that's a great job, Abner. That's smart. Well, it's a it's a close parallel, you see, because the threat winds up being the economic downturn of 2008. I think pretty much every holy cats, Abner. I think we may have lost you. Oh no! Oh, you're back. You're back. Okay, so so how is this French Canadian film more accessible than a feudal Japan? You something well, about you said something about uh, financial collapse and maybe there were dot coms involved. Or was huh. it is? There very well could have been. Well, instead of having some mythical beast ready to swallow up all the villagers, this game just relies around a fishing village that's losing its place in the economy. So, homes are collapsing, people are just generally pretty depressed, and they need this doctor to come along. You know, doctors are important, Tom. Well, there's no argument here about doctors being important. Uh, so you've got my interest back. Keep going. So a doctor comes along, and um, well, what? Wait, who? They need, a, they need a doctor to stay, you see? Otherwise, they can't get this factory to open up and bring them a lot more jobs. So they're trying to convince them that life here ain't so bad, and maybe some of the people in here are worth loving. Abner, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump, hop around, hop around to another idea here. Uh, sure, sure. So my production assistant tells me that, that Arnold's super into lard. I, I mean, what is up with that? It's, it's great for cooking, I guess, but it's kind of gross. I think um, you're thinking of something else. Lard would be live-action role-playing games. And yep, Arnold's definitely chasing those around. <laughs> you know, I, I was imagining if you played lard that you'd role-play as a friar. 
Yeah, that could probably work out. So, so is is there anything he is? It, oh, hold on. Oh, LARP. 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 Oh, LARPs. Yeah, LARPs, LARPs, LARPs. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, he's been um he's been playing quite a few of them lately. Uh, he just ran a game of uh, C. Dracula Advanced. It's a lot of fun. It's a courtroom drama. It's pretty creative exercise. There's a trial. There's some lawyers. Lots of dancing. It's a good time. Huh. But well, he's got a house for LARP, right? Where his, where his wayward LARPers go when they're uh, down on their luck or something? Sure enough. Right here in the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul. It looks like... Um, oh, give me a second. Yeah, that uh, was created by Mr. John Cole and uh, Mr. Julian, and they created an environment here for all sorts of people to get together and play some LARPs, and they do about one a month. And um, recently they did some Kyaku Monogatari Kaidan Kai kind of ghost story thing, and uh, before that they did a superhero dance LARP, and uh, they've done Limbo up in a big scary attic about people... Waiting for judgment, death or death. <laughs> All right. Well, I, enough talk here. Now, Abner, I've got a, I, I've got a serious question for you or for Arnold. It, it, it's you can choose. It's a, it's a team question. Are you ready for a serious question? Well, yeah, sure. Throw it on me. All right. Here we go. What was your favorite Halloween costume and why? Oh man, Halloween costumes. Well, I have to go back about two years. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, it's it's all of history. You could go back 100 years if you were that old, but I, I doubt it because then it, oh, yeah, there's more snacks. I'm just going to go with two years because that's about as far as my memory goes. Well, this guy shows up, and he's working him over and saying, what the heck's going on? Well, on top of a robe, he had some sort of football helmet on, and then he was carrying some big stick with a diamond on top of it, and everybody was just going, I don't get it, man. What's up? Well, then he grabbed a football and cradled it under his arm and said, Fantasy football, yo. <laughs> I, I, uh, it, it was great. That's, that's great. Oh, I, I love that. That That's classic. I love pun costumes. You know, uh, uh, um, um, my production assistant monkey, his wife... She once uh, walked around in uh, like a, a, co- a Grim Reaper costume, and she had oh, yeah. uh, a paintbrush and uh, a lei, like like the Hawaiian things, you know, the the flowery wreathy around the necky thing. Oh yeah, yeah. She she was a brush with death on vacation. Oh my goodness, that's a good one, Doctor Tom. <laughs> Sounds wow. great. You know, I could sit and talk costumes with you for so. So, I really appreciate you coming on, Abner, and and thanks for uh, thanks for coming on to the Doctor Tom the Frog Show, Abner. Yeah, Doctor Tom, I heard you were a baseball fan. I brought my New York Pigeons outfit with me. Oh man, that's great. The New York Pigeons—they're pretty. I've never heard of them, but they—if they're baseball, I I like it. Is it like a minor, course, minor, yeah. minor, well, minor league? It might be micro. They tend to play when others won't. Hell, they'll play even in foul weather. Last week, they even played on Feathers Day. (laughs) Oh, my. You're tearing me up here, Abner. Good one. Well, they don't like to be cooped up just staring at their bills. they got to go get some money to pay the check. (laughs) Well, thanks for coming on the show. I I think you've outpunned me today. Oh, good one, good one, Tom. Good to meet you at last. You just watched the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime.